Aloha everyone, good morning and welcome to Lillian's Vegan World where we go in and explore the wonderful and fascinating world of veganism. Today I'm so excited to introduce you to my guest, Sandra Pauling. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining today. Thank you for having you me. You know, I've actually been wanting to get you on the show because you are not a vegan, right? I am not a vegan. Not. And not on a plant-based diet. And not on a plant-based diet. Okay. But you look amazing. Thank I shouldn't you. say but. And you look amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I wanted to chat with you, Sandy, about how it's not only the food that you eat that is important for your health, it's about the lifestyle. Yeah. Yes. So judging by the way you look, you obviously work out. Well, we're so lucky we live in Hawaii, so yes. outdoors, everything's outdoors. Mm -hmm. So the beach, good walks, hikes. Nice, yeah. yeah. So do you have like a, a, a sort of regime that you follow, a fitness You know, I, I, I follow? nothing, um, I power walk. I live in okay. Kailua, so I walk in Chanted mm -hmm. Lake. Is that near the beach? Or? Um, on the weekends, I do walk to the beach. We're about five minutes from the okay. beach. But on the weekends, nice. I walk up to Lanikai and back. And that's a good seven-mile walk from where I'm at. And, okay. um, you know, nothing like walking along the ocean and <laughs> just the view, the scenery. It's beautiful. Yes, and we're lucky, so. honestly, living in Hawaii, as you yes. said, to have all of this around us and, you know, to take full advantage of. Yeah. So, as you know, I'm all about the food and the, the plant-based, especially the plant-based yes. diet. So, people ask me all the time, like, how do you keep fit and that sort of stuff? But again, like, it's not only what you eat. It's about getting out there, moving about, getting your body. And you have to stay, you have to stay in motion. Yes, you do. So, fitness does increase yes. growth and development, prevents aging strengthens muscles and the cardiovascular system and is good for maintaining a healthy weight or of course you know to to lose weight as well so exercise improves overall health and well-being and is fun yes it is so i saw a photo on your social media that i thought was so amazing can we have a look at the first image of sandy oh. surfing <laughs> sandy where where was this uh, photo taken so this was up uh, in Haleiwa and doing a little surf lesson. It was so much fun. Great workout. Really good workout. Mm -hmm. so, how, how long were you surfing for? A couple hours. Wow, that's, yeah. a, that's a long time, it? was it, a to long be on time. a board? It was a long time, um, but oh, you slept so good that night. <laughs> nice. I'm guessing there's a lot of core work involved in surfing. Well, with the paddling, surfing. yeah, mm -hmm. there is. And you have to have the balance when you get up there, mm -hmm. um, stand up, but uh, it's great workout but yeah. more importantly it was fun yes and you're, yeah. you're getting out there you've got the sun the workout the the water it's it's an overall like really great way to I guess have fun and right. work out at the same time right right went with a group of girls and um, it was just a great day nice you're what we would consider a hot babe <laughs> <laughs> grandma, I'm a grandma. I know. I, I actually didn't know if I could mention that, but oh, you are a grandmother. I like, am. I have three beautiful granddaughters. You don't look like anyone's grandmother. Well, <laughs> I don't look like my grandmother, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, whatever you're doing, but, you're, you're oh, doing it right. So Thank you. I, you, you know, know I, I always joke. Um, and say that I need to stay in shape because I want to run around with my girls. Yes, that's, and, a, that's a great you way know, of looking at three, it. They're three, five, and ten, and that's mm -hmm. a lot of energy. Yes, you so. do. I think what you do now, how you treat your body, what you feed your body, is um, going to you know, pop up later on in the golden years. Absolutely. And that's, that's why now it's, it's a good time to start rethinking you know, your whole you know, the way you eat and That's it. You know, and how you yeah, take care of yourself. Because you really have to listen to your body. Yes, you do. So, so Sandy, there's another really nice photo of you uh, hiking, I think. Hiking or taking oh, a, but, just taking um, a walk? I was on my walk up to Lanikai um, and I jumped up to, I was actually, I jumped up to take a picture of the water and my girlfriend and her husband came up and they snapped the picture of me. So <laughs> nice. I love this photo too. It just you just look like you're having so much fun, um, soaking in that very important vitamin D yeah, as well. It's, it just feels good to be out there. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so what kind of food do you eat, Sandy, on a like 
regular basis? Are you, do you eat a lot of meat, a lot of seafood? I eat vegetables? a lot of fish, a lot of vegetables. I okay. like salad. Mm -hmm. um, I do have red meat when, I, when my body craves it. Okay. Yeah, and that's, like I said, I listen to my body. Mm -hmm. There are times where I just need a burger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you don't deprive yourself no, of anything? No, I don't deprive but, myself. But, you, but I, it's, everything's in moderation. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. But a lot of, a lot of um, salads and fruit. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, red wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that red wine's also, they say, a glass a day yeah. helps keep the doctor away. Yes. So that's something you might want to continue. Well, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always feel great. Like the food I eat doesn't make me feel bad. The only times I feel a bit dodgy or a bit off is the day after I meet you for drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's like coincidence or has something to do with what goes that, on. I don't, I don't really. think that has anything to do with me. <laughs> so um, uh, it's interesting because you actually have tried one of my seven course dinners. I did, and uh -huh. it was amazing. Thank you. It was so good. And what was so nice is I didn't have that sluggish feeling, mm -hmm. but I was full. Right. And it was great. Yeah, it, it is great. filling, and as you notice, there, um, it's still there's so many misconceptions about what vegans eat. So, I wanted to show you a little video about uh, of the food that I've cooked in the past few months. So, let's take a look at this video of what vegans really eat. Okay. That's a cheesecake, mm, that's Sandy. Delicious. Um, some Japanese food in there, vegan cheese that I make, another cheesecake blueberry, the fondue, cashew fondue. As you know, I cook a lot of Japanese because of the 30 years that I was there. Right. So I have and um, so many flavors. Yes. That's what was so nice after the, the meal that you prepared for us. It was, we did not miss a thing. The cheese sauce, I mean, everything is, was so flavorful. Thank you. I'm glad you no, felt that way. No, thank you. We <laughs> loved it. So, so there's lots of colors going on. Um, they say eat the colors of the rainbow, don't they? Because you're getting all those you know, nutrients from, especially the dark leafy greens right. and the reds. So I do actually think about that when I'm preparing food for myself. I like to make sure it's colorful. Colorful. And, yeah, it just yeah. makes you feel good. It does. So, there you go. As you can see, we really don't just live on salads and, no. you know, celery sticks. So the vegan food is, is becoming popular, especially here in Hawaii, too. You see the vegan more restaurants more. popping up exactly. here and there. Yeah. And, um, but it's, it's the, the food, the, the meat substitutes. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you, that's right. You came over to our home right, and uh, we, right. had a, we had a vegan barbecue. Yes, we did. And I did actually show that on, on my show, on my first show, the Beyond Burgers and Beyond Sausages. So there, there is uh, definitely the vegans are not depriving themselves of flavor not or foods all. that they're used to eating and, and crave. And even the texture mm -hmm. was yeah. like the real thing. Mm -hmm. So for so anybody out there that, that, that is... You know, apprehensive because of yeah. that, they've got to try it. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. So today is actually Good Friday. Yes, it is. And I know that a lot of people who, uh, and I know a lot of people do not eat or abstain from eating meat or land animals during Lent. Mm -hmm. So there's a period where, uh, just leading up to Good Friday and Easter, that a lot of people, um, you know, depending on their religion, don't eat meat right and right. some actually don't even go as far as don't you know don't even eat fish so what is the one thing that everyone's going crazy for eating around Easter time eggs, eggs. and I know that Sandy you love eggs too I hear I you I love eggs <laughs> okay so you might be interested in this next video I'm going to show you okay it's a substitute for eggs made from tofu this is one of my recipes so let's have a look let's check it out it. Yeah, it's a to tofu scrambled egg. Everyone, Lillian here. You do not have to give up your favorite egg recipes when you go vegan. Check this one out for scrambled eggs using tofu.
It really does look like scrambled eggs, doesn't it? It really does. That uh, yellowish uh, colour comes from turmeric. And oh, you okay. only, a little bit goes a long way, so it's not overpowering in flavour at all. Um, just mushrooms, green onion, a little bit of olive oil. You could substitute it, the, the oil for vegan butter. There goes the tofu. Nutritional yeast is something that's used in a lot of uh, vegan cooking to give food a cheesy, nutty flavour. Oh, is that And it has right? a lot of uh, bi uh, B vitamins, in particular B12. Oh, yes. I didn't know that. There's kale, adding more nutrients there. A little bit of non-dairy milk. That was soy milk, actually. This literally, this dish takes less than, it takes about five minutes and it's ready to go. And it looks, you know, it looks like you've slaved over it. You know, <laughs> in, the, in the presentation. Oh, actually, there's, yeah, there's been no slaving over this Look dish. How it's so pretty quick that is. and so simple. Colorful, mm -hmm. tasteful. Mm -hmm. So, this is something that I, I do believe a lot of vegans eat, and you, you know, add some chili sauce if you like to right. spice things up. Yeah. Delicious scrambled eggs on this. this Sandwiches are really nice too, Sandy. I've put some cheese on top and melted them in the oven. Ooh, that looks delicious. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what do you think? I think it looks great. <laughs> so have a try. I've made you a little sandwich to try. Bon this is actually the recipe that we just saw, and I've added some vegan mayonnaise to it and put it in a sandwich. So. Okay. Okay. So the vegan mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. That's a new one on you. Yes. The vegan mayonnaise is uh, available everywhere, actually, in Hawaii. Very difficult mm. to find in Japan, but what do you think? Mm -hmm. now, I, now, you know that it's not egg. But it tastes like it egg. Does. It does. It tastes yes, like egg. I have actually fed this to people in Japan and not told them it was made from tofu, and they had no idea. You know, if, if you hadn't told me differently, I wouldn't have known. Yes. So... So there's something that's good. There's something you can try. Look at that. Do you do you eat tofu at all? Mm hmm Okay. I see it's a there's tofu tofu dishes, tofu like tofu in restaurants here as well. So a lot of people are eating it. But then there are a lot of people who worry about eating soy products. So I think you know there's, there's so many different you hear different things like yes. soy isn't good for you. Mm -hmm. And then you read that soy is good for yes, you. So right. I, I, I just think if it works for you. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah, I never tell people to go out and eat soy or not to. That's a personal choice, whatever you decide to right. put into your body. But I can tell you, after spending 30 years in Japan, that the whole Japanese cuisine is based on soy. Yes. From the soy sauce to the miso soup that they oh, eat on a daily basis. Soup. Yes, and then you know, miso is incorporated into everything. So, yeah. including obviously, uh, not miso. Sorry, the soy is also tofu. Tofu is eaten, you know, two or three times a day there, and they have one of the longest longevities. The long they live, yes. they have long lifespan. So, the soy argue, the soy um, debate. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I myself eat a lot of soy including soy milk. That's and I the, like soy milk. Yes, I tried it for I the first time at, at Starbucks a couple of years ago. Okay. I, oh, I'll just try a soy latte. And it was actually really good. It has mm -hmm. like a nutty taste to it. Nice. Yeah, it and nice. the other good thing is that soy is zero cholesterol. So we're going to take a quick, quick break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about um, other lactose-free and cholesterol-free products that are out there. So stay tuned and uh, see you after the break. Aloha, I'm Wendy Lowe and I'm coming to you every other Tuesday at 2 o'clock live from Think Tech Hawaii and on our show we talk about taking your health back and what does that mean? It means mind, body and soul. Anything you can do that makes your body healthier and happier is what we're going to be talking about. Whether it's spiritual health, mental health, fascia health, beautiful smile health, whatever it means, let's take healthy back. Aloha. <laughs> Hey, aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. 
I'll bring you guests. I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, we want to teach you about those things in our industry that you know may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha. Welcome back everyone to Lillian's Vegan World where exciting chats about veganism happen right here at the Think Tech <laughs> Hawaii studio in Honolulu. I'm here with my guest Sandy Pauling who's a great friend of mine. Um, not vegan but very, very happy, healthy, fit. And uh, it's great having you on the show, Sandy. Thank you for having me. Thank you for tasting. You've been you've done a lot of tasting, actually. Uh, I have. With me. Did you ever? Did you eat vegan food like, before we met? So, um, vegetarian. Okay. Not so much vegan. Mm -hmm. So the the vegan is um, is is new to me. Obviously. Okay. Uh -huh. you know. What's something that stands out that you've tried with me? Something I made or oh. Everything you've made. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but the last what stands the, okay, out. so um, so the first night you made the seven the seven course meal for mm -hmm. us. Everything was so good. Thank um, you. but this last when we did the cookout. Yes. And you did it was the tofu with the greens. Uh huh. And it was had a little spice to it. Okay. My favorite. Mm. And that stir fry was so easy to make. No I'll have kidding. to give you the recipe. But yeah, tofu again, tofu is just a I think um, tofu is one of the, for me, one of the most important um, ingredients or products that I, that right. I consume. So um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about lactose intolerance. Mm. Mm. So lactose intolerance is basically the body's inability to digest lactose, which is the, the main ingredient in yeah, the main carbohydrate in dairy products, mm -hmm. also called uh, dairy, sorry, milk sugar. And I didn't know this, Sandy, but while I was um, researching this lactose intolerance thing, I went online and every study that I saw came up with the same figure, which is that in America, Americans, there are about 65% of people that are lactose intolerant. And they're saying that the numbers are actually more. People just haven't been I, I diagnosed be or don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. And then when it comes to Asian Americans, they're saying in the 90% range of people that are lactose intolerant. Is that right? Mm. That's, that's interesting. So I, I'm learning as well as, you know, I, as I do these shows. So it's interesting for me too. So if, you're, if you are lactose intolerant, you may experience abdom abdominal bloating, diarrhea, flatulence, gas, yeah. um, even nausea and vomiting in yes. some cases. So it makes me think like when I see people eating ice cream or big shakes, like milkshakes and stuff, and after it you see them sort of going, oh, I don't feel well or, you know, my belly's playing up, stuff like that. So mm -hmm. that's a sign that you could be. I'm not saying, you know, stop eating dairy, right. or, dairy or anything, but maybe just be aware of whether you are having those symptoms. Exactly. So. Be, uh, get tested. You know, I mean, it, yes. if, it's, if, if it's happening, you know, like the, mm -hmm. the bloated, yeah. the gas, yep. you know, yeah. the, the not just overall not feeling well. Yes. You, you know, have it. Go get tested. Have it ruled yeah. out. Yeah, for sure. Do you suffer from any of these symptoms after no. eating dairy? Oh, okay. No, I don't. Lucky I don't. for you. So here are some um, substitutes that you can try if you are feeling that you may be lactose intolerant. And all of these products I'm about to show you are uh, lactose free and cholesterol free. Mm. So let's have a look at the first image. Okay. And this is grated Parmesan, um, Go Veggie Cheesy Bliss. So as you can see, non-GMO, no cholesterol, lactose, gluten free, 30% less fat. Um, this is a soy-based product, and it has only 23 calories per two teaspoons. Nice. And this, Sandy, tastes exactly like Parmesan cheese. Is that right? Yes. So I, I love that it's zero cholesterol. Um, have a try, Sandy. 
I made you look at this tiny oh, little pizza. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> That's a, this is actually a um, pizza. <laughs> look at that. It's leftover from last night's dinner. <laughs> it's a lucky meal. <laughs> yeah. And I, yeah, I put some, some of the grated parmesan mm. on top for you to try. Mm. You wouldn't really know, mm -hmm. would you? <laughs> Tastes like leftover pizza. Yeah, well, because um, I, I ate dairy mm. up until, you know, 10 years ago until, until I transitioned to becoming vegan. But I remember, I know exactly what cheese and stuff tastes like. And to me, that is That's just a really great good. product. You wouldn't know the difference. Yeah. Really good. So zero cholesterol. Um, I did see that uh, the dietary guidelines for Americans recommends eating one, between 100 to 300 milligrams of cholesterol a day. Now, one egg alone, one large egg, has 186 <coughs> milligrams of cholesterol, and mm. it's in the yolk. So that's why a lot of people are doing the egg white right. you know, scramble uh, scrambled eggs, just mm -hmm. using the egg white and stuff. So that's another thing um, I think people do need to be careful of is, you know, the cholesterol. If you have high cholesterol, these are some products you might want to consider, you know, checking out. Right. Yeah. Right. Let's have a look at the next one. Oh. <laughs> now, this ice cream, coconut milk ice cream, this is mint, mint chip flavoured. As it says on the label, so it is delicious. so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I have like I have an array of these, like in various flavors. Is they, that right? All of these products, actually, I didn't uh, forgot to mention, are from Down to Earth and mm. uh, Whole Foods. Whole Foods sells them as well. This container uh, has about uh, it costs about five between five and six dollars, but. We, they go on sale a lot. I, I can pick them up for, you know, $4 um, every now and again. But they, look, again, cholesterol-free. Mm -hmm. um, one container is, sorry, half a cup of this delicious coconut milk ice cream is only 180 calories, if you're watching calories. I was going to say, so go ahead and eat the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> half, it's yes. only a few. <laughs> Half a cup is actually a quarter of this container, and I do eat the whole thing at one sitting because, you know, once you open it, that's it. <laughs> you're, you're a goner, as they say in Australia. Right, you're right. a goner. Like, this stuff is just so Moorish and delicious. And something, again, that you probably don't want to be eating every day. I think people, even, you know, people on a plant based diet have to be careful that then they don't turn into junk, vegan junky junk food. Ah. Um, they don't get you know, caught in that junk food arena. So let's have a look at the other one, the next one, sorry. Now, what's the, um, is it really creamy? Yes, it is. How about this, Sandy? This is probably something that you've seen. This is in every supermarket here. Earth Balance, did you know that it is vegan, this butter? No, I didn't. Mm. I'm looking at that. Going so on. vegan, non-MSG, zero trans fat, gluten-free. So, 30, yeah. So this has 80 calories per tablespoon compared to 100 calories of real butter. So not, not too much difference, but I think the main thing is that it is, yeah, zero cholesterol. And it tastes like butter. Let's have a oh, try. Okay, let's do this. This one. Oh, Here you I go. I love some butter. I'll just put that on a little baguette. What do you think? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, this is something that you don't want to be eating every day. You don't want to be cooking all your food and stuff no, like this. No, you do want to be eating that every day. <laughs> I know, it's, it's delicious. It really is. So when I do like baked potatoes, that's what I would put on a, ba a nice baked really potato good. or a boiled potato, just a, a dollop of the vegan butter. That's really and tasty. And it's very buttery, mm -hmm. isn't it? Very buttery. Because this, this kind of product was never, I had never seen this in all my years in Japan. And Is that right? having just moved here like four months ago, I'm starting to find all of these really interesting vegan products that are just so nice. <laughs> That's great. I'll tell you what, I'll buy that. I yeah. will go buy that. That's that, really good. It's sold everywhere. Yeah. And I don't think people know that it's vegan. It so, certainly doesn't taste it. <laughs> let's have a look at the next product. 
coconut milk yogurt alternative. Uh -huh. So this is uh, one container has about 140 calories, obviously made from coconut milk, dairy free, also zero cholesterol, zero trans fat. That's another thing that you want to you know, avoid is the trans fats. Total fat four grams. This isn't. This is a really great alternative. Now, this I think uh, is something that some people like and others don't. It's a, an acquired taste. The coconut milk is. It, it's not similar to regular yogurt, in my opinion. But you Sorry. have a try. Let's see oh, okay. what you think. This is the raspberry flavored one, Sandy, and I've put oh, okay. some nuts and a couple of blueberries on there for you. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Awesome. While you're trying that, let's have a look at the next uh, image, the next photo. Vegan mayonnaise, of course. This is what went into your uh, sandwich that you tried, the and that egg was sandwich. Really good. That's also a delicious product. And one more, mm. I, I believe we have one more photo. That is the, yes, the cream cheese. Really this good. one is awesome, made with coconut. This cream cheese is great, Sandy. Try one of these. Uh, little cream cheese is another thing that I re I'm, I'm a cheese, cheese I head, am I too. I love cheese. I am too, yes. So. That's why I'm just having so much fun finding all of these things. This one I actually found at the commissary. Mm. So, and every time I go there, it's either sold out or there's like one left on the shelf. So it's people really even in, in the military, obviously, buying these and actually the soy yogurt is from the commissary as I well. I really liked the yogurt. The yogurt was really nice. Um, Coconut different yogurt, sorry, yeah. It, different from regular yogurt, like mm -hmm. you said it would be, yeah. but very tasty. Mm -hmm. Well, Sandy, tasty. I have to say thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun with you. Oh, and thank you for I having me. I hope you enjoyed me. the tasting. I did. You know, I'm a foodie, <laughs> and everything was great. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Look forward to seeing you again. Uh, keep, uh, keep tuning in to Lillian's Vegan World. If you have any questions, write them on a big jar of Vegemite. Aussies will get that and send them to Think Tech Kauai. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you uh, next time on Lillian's Vegan World. Aloha.